John McCarthy September 4, 1927, to October 24, 2011, was an American computer scientist and cognitive scientist. McCarthy was one of the founders of the discipline of artificial intelligence. He coined the term, artificial intelligence. AI, developed the Lisp programming language family, significantly influenced the design of the Algol programming language, popularized timesharing, and was very influential in the early development of AI. McCarthy spent most his career at Stanford University. He received many accolades and honors, such as the 1971 Turing Award for his contributions to the topic of AI, the United States National Medal of Science, and the Kyoto Prize. Early life and education John McCarthy was born in Boston, Massachusetts on September 4, 1927 to an Irish immigrant father and a Lithuanian Jewish immigrant mother, John Patrick and Ida Glatt McCarthy. The family was obliged to relocate frequently during the Great Depression, until McCarthy's father found work as an organizer for the Amalgamated Clothing Workers in Los Angeles, California. His father came from the fishing village of Cromaine in County Kerry, Ireland. His mother died in 1957. McCarthy was exceptionally intelligent, and graduated from Belmont High School two years early. McCarthy was accepted into Caltech in 1944. McCarthy showed an early aptitude for mathematics. During his teens, he taught himself college mathematics by studying the textbooks used at the nearby California Institute of Technology. Caltech. As a result, he was able to skip the first two years of mathematics at Caltech. McCarthy was suspended from Caltech for failure to attend physical education courses. He then served in the U.S. Army and was readmitted, receiving a B.S. in mathematics in 1948. It was at Caltech that he attended a lecture by John von Neumann that inspired his future endeavors. McCarthy initially completed graduate studies at Caltech before moving to Princeton University. He received a Ph.D. in mathematics from the institution in 1951 as a student of Solomon Lefschitz. Topic. Academic career After short-term appointments at Princeton and Stanford University, McCarthy became an assistant professor at Dartmouth in 1955. A year later, McCarthy moved to MIT as a research fellow in the autumn of 1956. In 1962, McCarthy became a full professor at Stanford, where he remained until his retirement in 2000. By the end of his early days at MIT he was already affectionately referred to as Uncle John. By his students, McCarthy championed mathematical logic for artificial intelligence. Topic. Contributions in computer science John McCarthy is one of the founding fathers of artificial intelligence, together with Marvin Minsky, Alan Newell, and Herbert A. Simon. McCarthy coined the term, artificial intelligence, in 1955, and organized the famous Dartmouth Conference in summer 1956. This conference started AI as a field. Minsky later joined McCarthy at MIT in 1959. In 1958, he proposed the advice taker, which inspired later work on question answering and logic programming. John McCarthy invented LISP in the late 1950s. Based on the Lambda calculus, Lisp soon became the programming language of choice for AI applications after its publication in 1960. In 1958, McCarthy served on an ACM ad hoc committee on languages that became part of the committee that designed Algol 60. In August 1959, he proposed the use of recursion and conditional expressions, which became part of Algol. Around 1959, he invented so called garbage collection. Methods to solve problems in Lisp, he helped to motivate the creation of Project Mac at MIT when he worked there. At Stanford University, he helped establish the Stanford AI Laboratory, for many years a friendly rival to Project Mac. In 1961, he was perhaps the first to suggest publicly the idea of utility computing, in a speech given to celebrate mid-centennial, that computer time-sharing technology might result in a future in which computing power and even specific applications could be sold through the utility business model like water or electricity. This idea of a computer or information utility was very popular during the late 1960s, but faded by the mid-1990s. 
However, since 2000, the idea has resurfaced in new forms see application service provider, grid computing, and cloud computing. In 1966, McCarthy and his team at Stanford wrote a computer program used to play a series of chess games with counterparts in the Soviet Union. McCarthy's team lost two games and drew two games see McCarthy. From 1978 to 1986, McCarthy developed the circumscription method of non-monotonic reasoning. McCarthy is also credited with developing an early form of time sharing. His colleague Lester Ernest told the Los Angeles Times. The Internet would not have happened nearly as soon as it did except for the fact that John initiated the development of time-sharing systems. We keep inventing new names for time-sharing. It came to be called servers. Now we call it cloud computing. That is still just time-sharing. John started it. In 1982 he seems to have originated the idea of the space fountain. A type of tower extending into space and kept vertical by the outward force of a stream of pellets propelled from Earth along a sort of conveyor belt which returns the pellets to Earth payloads would ride the conveyor belt upward. Other activities McCarthy often commented on world affairs on the Usenet forums. Some of his ideas can be found in his sustainability web page, which is aimed at showing that human material progress is desirable and sustainable." McCarthy was a serious book reader, an optimist, and a staunch supporter of free speech. His best Usenet interaction is visible in rec.arts.books archives. And John actively attended SF Bay Area dinners in Palo Alto of R. A. B. readers called Rab Fests. John went on to defend free speech criticism involving European ethnic jokes at Stanford. McCarthy saw the importance of mathematics and mathematics education. His Usenet.sig for years was, He who refuses to do arithmetic is doomed to talk nonsense. His license plate cover read, similarly, Do the arithmetic or be doomed to talk nonsense. He advised 30 PhD graduates. His 2001 short story, The Robot and the Baby, Farsically explored the question of whether robots should have or simulate having emotions, and anticipated aspects of internet culture and social networking that have become increasingly prominent during ensuing decades. Topic: <laughs> Personal life. McCarthy was married three times. His second wife was Vera Watson, a programmer and mountaineer who died in 1978 attempting to scale Annapurna I as part of an all-women expedition organized by Arlene Bloom. He later married Carolyn Talcott, a computer scientist at Stanford and later Sri International. McCarthy considered himself an atheist. Raised as a communist, he became a conservative Republican after a two-day visit to Czechoslovakia in 1968 after the Soviet invasion. McCarthy died at his home in Stanford on October 24, 2011. Topic: <laughs> Philosophy of artificial intelligence. In 1979, McCarthy wrote an article entitled "Ascribing Mental Qualities to Machines." In it, he wrote, "Machines as simple as thermostats can be said to have beliefs, and having beliefs seems to be a characteristic of most machines capable of problem-solving performance." Quote. In 1980, the philosopher John Searle responded with his famous Chinese room argument, disagreeing with McCarthy and taking the stance that machines cannot have beliefs simply because they are not conscious. He says that machines lack intentionality, a term commonly used in the philosophy of mind. A vast amount of literature has been written in support of one side or the other. Topic. Awards and honors Turing Award from the Association for Computing Machinery 1971. Kyoto Prize 1988. National Medal of Science USA in Mathematical, Statistical, and Computational Sciences 1990. Inducted as a Fellow of the Computer History Museum, for his co-founding of the fields of artificial intelligence AI and timesharing systems, and for major contributions to mathematics and computer science. 1999 Benjamin Franklin Medal in Computer and Cognitive Science from the Franklin Institute 2003. 
inducted into IEEE Intelligent Systems AI's Hall of Fame 2011 for the significant contributions to the field of AI and intelligent systems. Named as one of the 2012 Stanford Engineering Heroes. Topic: Major publications. McCarthy, J. 1959. Programs with Common Sense. At the Wayback Machine, archived October 4, 2013. In Proceedings of the Teddington Conference on the Mechanization of Thought Processes, 756-91. London, Her Majesty's Stationery Office. McCarthy, J. 1960. Recursive Functions of Symbolic Expressions and Their Computation by Machine. At the Wayback Machine, archived October 4, 2013. Communications of the ACM 3 184-195. McCarthy, J. 1963A. A Basis for a Mathematical Theory of Computation. In Computer Programming and Formal Systems. North Holland. McCarthy, J. 1963B. Situations, Actions, and Causal Laws. Technical Report, Stanford University. McCarthy, J., and Hayes, P. J. 1969. Some Philosophical Problems from the Standpoint of Artificial Intelligence at the Wayback Machine archived August 25, 2013. In Meltzer, B., and Michi, D., eds., Machine Intelligence 4. Edinburgh, Edinburgh University Press, 463-502. McCarthy, J. 1977. Epistemological Problems of Artificial Intelligence. In IJCAI, 1038-1044. McCarthy, J. 1980. Circumscription, a form of non-monotonic reasoning. Artificial Intelligence. 13 1-2-23-79. McCarthy, J. Applications of Circumscription to Common Sense Reasoning. Artificial Intelligence. 28 1, 89 116. doi 10.1016 0004 3702869003299. McCarthy, J. 1990. Generality in Artificial Intelligence. In Lifshitz, v. ed., Formalizing Common Sense. Ablix, 226 236. McCarthy, J. 1993. Notes on Formalizing Context. In IJCAI, 555-562. McCarthy, J., and Bivac, S. 1997. Formalizing Context, Expanded Notes. In Eliseda, A., Van Glabeek, R., and Westerstall, D., eds., Computing Natural Language. Stanford University. Also available as Stanford Technical Note Stand CSTN 9413. McCarthy, J. 1998. Elaboration Tolerance. In Working Papers of the Fourth International Symposium on Logical Formalizations of Common Sense Reasoning, Common Sense 1998. Costello, T., and McCarthy, J. 1999. Useful Counterfactuals. Electronic Transactions on Artificial Intelligence 3, a. 51 76. McCarthy, J. 2002. Actions and Other Events in Situation Calculus. In Fenzel, D., Junchilia, F., McGuinness, D., and Williams, M., eds., Proceedings of KR 2002, 615-628. See also Cornucopian Frame problem List of pioneers in computer science Katak McCarthy McCarthy 91 function McCarthy formalism Watson computer Topic References Topic Further reading Philip J. Hiltz, Scientific Temperaments, Three Lives in Contemporary Science, Simon & Schuster, 1982 Lengthy profiles of John McCarthy, physicist Robert R. Wilson and geneticist Mark Tischny. 
Pamela McCordick, Machines Who Think, A Personal Inquiry into the History and Prospects of Artificial Intelligence, 1979, second edition 2004. Pamela Weintraub, ed., The Omni Interviews, New York, Tickner and Fields, 1984. Collected Interviews Originally Published in Omni Magazine, Contains an Interview with McCarthy. Topic. External links McCarthy's Stanford Home Page at the Wayback Machine archived October 11, 2013. John McCarthy at DBLP Bibliography Server John McCarthy at the Mathematics Genealogy Project John McCarthy at the AI Genealogy Project Celebration of John McCarthy's accomplishments at Stanford University Interview with Guy Steele conducted at OOPSLA 2008, set of interviews Oral history interview with John McCarthy at Charles Babbage Institute, University of Minnesota, Minneapolis. McCarthy discusses his role in the development of time sharing at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. He also describes his work in artificial intelligence AI funded by the Advanced Research Projects Agency, including logic-based AI LISP and robotics. Oral History Interview with Marvin Minsky at Charles Babbage Institute, University of Minnesota, Minneapolis. Minsky describes artificial intelligence AI research at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology MIT, including the work of John McCarthy. Oral History Interview with Jack B. Dennis at Charles Babbage Institute, University of Minnesota, Minneapolis. Dennis discusses the work of John McCarthy on time sharing, and the influence of DARPA's Information Processing Techniques Office on the development of time sharing. Oral history interview with Fernando J. Corbato at Charles Babbage Institute, University of Minnesota, Minneapolis. Corbato discusses computer science research, especially time sharing, at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, including John McCarthy and research on time sharing. John McCarthy at Find a Grave National Academy of Sciences Biographical Memoir